hear how the, the artist took the poem and made a picture out of it. I mean, it's fascinating. So we're going to have uh, Mary Duffy. She's here, and she actually, uh, three of the artists are here, Dale Costanza, Judith Copeland, and Sally Reisman. So, Mary, why don't you come up and read one of your poems, and then the artist will come up, and maybe wow. if you just stay up here. <laughs> I, I, haven't, I haven't seen this before, Dale. This is wonderful. I'm sorry. I just, uh, I looked into the face of my brother there. It looks incredibly like him. And of course, you wouldn't have ever seen him, so yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> this is an almost true story of my brother's birth. He uh, was dropped on the voyage back. He actually did make it to the hospital, but he's okay. He said, you know, don't let the truth get in the way of a good story. So this is an almost true story, and it's called Gift. A cold coming you had of it, my baby brother. Our mother entered a desperate race the coldest day of that bleak winter, sailing in a fragile vessel from Red Island to Argentia, icebergs chasing her all the way up Placentia Bay. You were born in the darkest hour of that night. The curling shell pink umbilical cord froze into an intricate ice sculpture after it grew out of the warmth of our mother unfurling to create a gritty monument, anchored down in frozen placental fluid atop her now empty belly. The skiff hit the wharf, they lifted you up, a warm offering. Hands reached to pass you to hands, waiting on the stage, but the boat listed fingers slipped. You went flying down into the joyous, boiling, cold ocean, fated to spend your future as a mere child, lost to us whose cries we would hear only when foghorns warned us of choppy seas such as these. The priest sailing with the crew for fear his presence might be required on the voyage to assist our mother or you if needed to another sphere, leapt up and caught the tumbling bundle, a great save, a tiny miracle. When they bring you to me such a precious gift, I, still a baby myself, cover my eyes and cry, no brother, no brother, no brother, knowing that your comb of shocking red hair will put my nose out of joint and take all the attention away from me, a mere pale blonde imitation of a real Red Island berry. But I should have been slightly more gracious in my acceptance speech the next winter, a big red rooster attacks and knocks our mother over as she gathers eggs, killing our little brother still inside of her. Our father places a lamb in her empty arms to comfort her in her grief. Now, there is only you and me left in this world to agree and argue over this and the memory of when Father Lewis and his big black dog Rex came down to our house after saying mass and our mother spread the table with fresh bread and butter, opens jars oozing gooseberry jam and celebratory tins of ham trying to make a big man even bigger. And thank you, Gail, Dale, for this wonderful gift over here. on the internet too and checked out the island and there were a lot of berries on that island and I last year I had a different poem had Richard's poem and I, I I find the poem really directs how, how I'm, what I'm going to use last year I did a bigger thing with acrylic and torn paper and things and this year what I felt was it was the story of the brother and sister looking back over over their life and so I chose to use watercolor because of that. I thought it was sort of more like memories that might not be quite right. And so this is the, the brother and the sister, and then the lamb is the 
the third child that that was uh, not difficult. And um, yeah, I really enjoyed doing that. It was really fun, and I really like the home. Thanks. <laughs>